Right time for me to tell you about an exciting new section on Storyboard, WebCheck, where we get advertising and marketing industry peers to tell us about a website. No, not just any website, but one which either helped their business or their understanding of someone else's. Rupak Saluja starts things off for us on this one. Hi, my name is Rupak Saluja. I'm the founder and chief executive officer of the 120 Media Collective. You may know us as Bang Bang Films or Jack in the Box, two of our better known brands. I'm going to tell you about my favorite website, fastcompany.com, which I believe if you're in the business of marketing, branding, advertising, creativity of any sort, you really should be checking out every day. Let me take you through the site now. So if you open up fastcompany.com and you check out the homepage, it's got different sections of co-design, co-create, co-exist, co-lead, technology, and then there's most innovative companies and what's going on in the print edition as well. If we switch to co-design now, it's about design and design thinking, etc. Co-create, which is about the business of creativity specifically, actually talks about perhaps uh, a very popular commercial which is out there that everyone's talking about, or it might get into a behind the scenes of a show like Game of Thrones, for example. And then you have co-lead, and it's very like the Harvard Business Review, except uh, it's a more fun take on things. So an article that I read this morning was how to lay down the law if your team keeps blowing deadlines or uh, the best business books of 2012. Uh, and then coexist is a section that talks about world changing ideas and innovation very much like the kind of stuff you might find on TED.com. So an article here would be you may soon just spray, spray paint on your solar panels, which I thought was very interesting. And so to sum it up, the reason I love Fast Company so much is because it talks about the blurring of the lines between these adjacent spaces we just mentioned, and it is this blurring that will lead to innovation in the business that we're in. Over to you, Naomi. Thanks, Rupak. Rupak picked fastcompany.com. Do remember to check that out. 